Welcome to our live training session here with our 2004 Honda Civic Si. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to calibrate and tune this vehicle using an EMU Black standalone system. Let's jump into some details about our vehicle. We're going to find that this 2004 Civic Si has had a K24 engine swap performed to it. Now, the K24 engine has been completely rebuilt, so it's going to be a K20 head, a K24 bottom end. We have stock K20 cams with a 50 degree VTC gear, upgraded valve train, and we have 12 and a half to one forge pistons along with forge connecting rods and a type S oil pump. So the engine has a pretty standard rebuild for a higher performance K series engine. Now on the fuel system side of things, we have RDX 410 CC injectors. We have an upgraded in tank fuel pump along with a flex fuel sensor that's been mounted in our fuel system. So pretty basic fueling upgrades. We'll find on the exhaust side of things, we have a header back exhaust. On the intake side of things, we have a Skunk 2 intake, throttle body, and a custom intake itself. Now we have a couple additional sensors that have been wired into our engine. Uh, we have a fuel pressure sensor. We also have an AMX series wideband. So all that's been tied into our EMU Black system. So we're gonna be learning how to calibrate and tune this using the EMU Black. The very first process or part of our calibration process is gonna be creating our base map. So let's jump in right now and learn how we can start creating a base map specific for our K-Series application. Welcome to our live training session here with our K24 Swap Civic Si. In this training module, we're going to jump right in and take a look at the base map creation process, incorporating all of the details, the modifications that we've just discussed earlier in this tutorial into our base map. In this specific tutorial, we're going to look at setting up the inputs and outputs for the wiring and the sensors that we have going on here for our vehicle so that when we fire up the engine, all of those will be calibrated and we know things will work like our fuel pump or the cooling fan and we've established that in this tutorial. The next tutorial, we're gonna look at the base map creation process and extension of this tutorial and we're gonna go through and set up the two-dimensional and three-dimensional tables so that we have things like our fuel and our spark timing represent it accurately as a starting point and we know that we can run our engine safely so we want to make sure that we're covering as much detail as possible which is why i'm breaking the tutorial up here into two separate training modules so let's jump in here and take a look at some things that we need to talk about in the beginning here and then jump right into modifying our base file so first things first i'm sitting in my vehicle i have the ignition key powered on i have the engine off so i'm key on engine off status i have the emu black here plugged into a jumper harness that allows it to plug into the factory Honda harness, and that jumper harness is from ECU Masters USA. So this is a plug and play setup from ECU Masters USA that was purchased for this car. There's gonna be a base file associated to this plug and play application that we can download. We're gonna take a look at that here in a few minutes. Uh, we're gonna upload that to the EMU Black and then start to modify that base file as the beginning portion of this tutorial. Now, um, I have the ignition key powered on, I have the EMU Black powered on, I have the USB cable plugged into my laptop. I've established communication, so I'm real time, I'm live with our EMU Black. We can see that status here. If we go to the lower left-hand corner of our screen, we can see it shows a connected status. We always wanna be live with the ECU if we're going through doing any uploading, doing any tuning, so we need to go and establish that communication. I've done that already, so what we'll do here is gonna be broadcast it in real time into the EMU Black. If you wanna create your base file in the offline mode where you're not plugged into the vehicle or you're not plugged into your EMU Black and live with the vehicle here, you might be sitting on your couch or your kitchen table, you can still create your base file doing that and then upload it as we're gonna find here in just a second with the base file um, from EMU Black. So you can get that base file, whatever base file is gonna to apply to your application. It may not be a Honda K-Series. You can modify that offline and then you can get online with your EMU Black when you sit in the car and actually upload that to the EMU Black. So. This process can go either live, as we're finding right now, or you can be offline and you can upload it later. Okay, so what I need to do here is jump onto EMU ECU Master's website and get that base file. And let's go through that process here first, and then we'll upload the file, and then we'll continue on with the base map building process, creation process. So the file that I have open right here, this is an arbitrary file that is not going to work for a K-Series application. We need to get that specific application file from their directory. So I have my web browser open here and right onto the ECU Master USA website. We're gonna go in here to our download section and move down to the bottom portion of our screen under base maps and manuals. So if we go here to base map pinout and product manuals, if we go down here a little bit, this will be into a Google Drive. 
And what we're gonna do is go right in here to the Honda Acura folder. So we see they're separated by folders. We can find all the info. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.